Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nomic, welcome back to more of Persona 3 Reload. And last time we did kind of all the lead up to the upcoming full moon operation, and tomorrow is the day. So, um, be interested to see how all of that unfolds. But before we do that, of course, we need to spend our evening. So, let's see what's going on. I've sent Snacker away at the mall, we've started his um, kind of requirements to, you know, lead into his social link. But, um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go drink some coffee, spend a, have a cheap night, you know, and we spend 500 to raise one step. Um, as on Sundays, the arcade is una veli belle. Anyway, you have a nice long sip of that, Makoto, and... Oh, yep, charm increase. That, that felt like it had an extra text box in there. I wasn't actively reading, but you know how it is. But yeah, our stats looking very good. Probably should study as one of our stats, but... You know, we're too unsim, we still have time to fix that. Either way, the day's here. Six, eight. Our technically third full moon mission. Anyway, we're supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. Okay. Hmm. To be honest, I don't feel like doing it, but we don't have a choice. And then asking Mr. Recoder for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially when compared to what went to that spot behind the station at night. But you said you hated it, Junpei. Either way, Sounds like stuff's going down, so, uh, let's see it. Oh, Hirijo-senpai. Why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Okoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka! Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kirijo-kun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Oyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down, she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That's not funny. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi as absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Despi... no! I... I... I didn't mean, uh, I, I was just... That's enough. You can go now, we'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> oh, he knows he's cooked. <laughs> about your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, 
could it be? It's them, no doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. But this voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Luca. Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Okay. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. Very interesting. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? It doesn't exist? That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? Alright, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? An explosive? <sighs> all right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. Oh, Junpei. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, 
What? Ray Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? Aw, you scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupé. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are on. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? All right. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> Maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. Okay, I should head to the faculty office. Well, you know, they say no time like the present, so we are in this corridor. I'm with you. What if there's any of those twilight fragments around? Don't have a bank on it, but you know. Hmm. Do you hear something? It was just a security guard. How rich is this school to have its own security? Anyway, uh, let's hurry. And probably gave us away. Um, I get that though. I get that. You know, tensions are high. I see it. Wait. I'm surprised the security didn't hear that though. Also, interesting novel little things maybe you may have noticed. Um, you know, a I'm pretty sure there was like a guard roaming around here in the original. But B, notice how it says School Building One F. That's because, as you may have been able to guess, this is actually running in the Tartarus engine instead of the regular thing. I don't know why this is the case, but it was the case in the original as well. And honestly, I just kind of find that cool. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So your car is just hearing random things. Wait, can I? This is the thing you could do in the original. So let's just, it's men's restroom. Should I go in? Yes. Yes, of course, Yukari, of course. There may be security, but a man's going to stay hygienic. Anyway, faculty office. Doesn't seem to be anyone inside. So, uh, Let's go make ourselves at home, shall we? No. No. It's so dark, I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Jim. Nah, it says morgue. What? Are you trying to scare me or something? No, I'm definitely you serious. Watch out. What goes around comes around, buddy. Wait a minute. This is the key to the gym. Oh yeah, that was easy. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Well, won't complain about that. Okay, so let's head back to the middle. Hopefully, security security's just left. Uh, but we found it. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Actually did? I was just kidding. You wanna take this outside? Guys, come on. Alright, we'll divide into teams again. 
Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. All right. I'd be glad to help. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukata. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takepa? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. here for Yamagishi-san's sake. So, can you me? I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separated. Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. So we're in Arca, it would seem. Huh? I must have lost consciousness. I don't see Sonata or Junpei. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Why are you here? I told you, remember? I'm always with you. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope you meet again. Okay. Well. Okay, so this doesn't actually let us know what floor we're on, but I always find it quite novel that they keep this a secret. Like, I always thought, and it, maybe it's a, just a me thing, but I always think it'd be quite novel if, in some way, shape, or form, it was revealed, like, j just, you know, a random specific thing, just like, oh, canonically it was the 40th floor for that night. Like, I don't know, I, I find that to be, like, novelly interesting. Obviously, I know not everyone will, but I don't know. I, I, I just think it'd be cool. But obviously they've got to keep it a mystery so people can't fact check it against the random generation. You know why getting a shuffle time on a full moon operation, that don't happen often? Ooh, magician, I... Oh, you f I'm fighting my demons here, I'm actually fighting my demons. Um... Wands. I'm gonna do it purely because I'm by myself so I get more XP for myself. Yum 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 yum. Delicioso. Okay. Ooh! It would seem I am there. Hello, Fuka. 
Not clearer to hear than Mitsuru, so you must be a bit closer. Anyway, let's uh, keep on heading onwards. I think I hear another chest around here, possibly. Oh shit! I, I ran straight into that, not even checking, but got the advantage. And again, are you the one that's weak to slash no ice? And what's the other one weak to? I appreciate them nerfing the enemy difficulty though for Ralph Summer alone, because could you imagine getting soft locked here because the enemies were too strong? I would be very annoyed. Damn, um, I'm an idiot. Damn. I could have just used his weakness. I could have exploited his weakness, but I wanted to be greedy over SP on some another thing that really doesn't use much SP. I deserved that. I deserved every second of that, but thank you for the shuffle time. And, oh, already got Jack Frost, so I reckon I'll just get more XP if that's okay with the jury. And 57. Okay, now is this the way up and out, or? I think so, Fuka. I think so. Some days it's hard to tell, though. Right, either way, what are you weak to? Um, wind, okay. Um, I've learned from my mistakes. I am a changed man, some would say. Um, well, fortunately they did as well. Alright, three damage, that's uh, ooh. It's a bit hefty, that. Might have, to, might have to reset. I think the run's permanently dead, you know? Um, either way, we go again. And, um, I'm not gonna be able to uh, attack that myself, am I? Just realised that, but... If it's killing them outright, I suppose we don't need to worry about that. And they all go tumbling down. Shuffle time again. God, and I'll take Jack Frost, uh, Jack O'Wan and Ma'am, but I don't know who I want to get rid of. Um, Hanged Man, who is... Obviously, I want to keep everyone I've got, but... I might get rid of Hermit and just re-summon later. Because my Sundays are quite busy as is. Like, it's between that and Justice. Um... Yeah, you know what, I'm actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Wait, who is Hanged Man again? It's the kid, in it? Yeah, so, um... I'll get rid of Justice, because I don't think I want to... Uh, what's the face, Chihiro? Oh, we, we started her, but we can put her off for a little bit. I just wanted to get her started sooner rather than later, so she would at least send me the occasional reminder and prompt me into action. Um, either way, it does not appear as though Fuka is on this floor, which is... unfortunate. But nothing we can't handle. I would think. I would hope. Anyway, let's see. Is she up here? No. Nah. Could say one thing, the answer as to why you're here. Um, unfortunately, it seems that's being sold as DLC. Is that ice? Really? I was hoping it was the guys that were weak to slash damage, but look, I'll take it. I'll take it. At the end of the day, it's free shuffle times. I got a new persona from this. We chillin'. Ooh, and it's shuffle timing. They're too nice. Actually, being too nice, but I'll take the XP. Actually, you know, this is probably making a negligible difference. From now on, I'm going to take money where is, um, where is available. Um, you... You're bigger than the rest of them, and I'm actually quite concerned. Are you guys that are weak to slash damage? I damage again! I know I couldn't move you to make it end quicker, but I gotta be, I gotta be conservative in these trying times, you know? Uh, but we go again, and... And are we gonna get a shuffle time? I have a guttural feeling. What a surprise! And as promised, I will obtain money, because the difference in XP is... 10. Yeah, okay. I wish I could, Mitsuru. I legitimately wish I could. I wish I could, but I'm, like, mostly mute, so it's kind of hard. Um, either way, let's head on up. Stop wasting the time on these small fries, you know? Anyway. Let's see what's going on up here. This should be the final four we need to clear before we run into Fuka, or so I would hope. But hey, it's the guys. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. Sorry about the wait. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like. Who's there? Are you? Woman. That's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. 
Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Are you okay? Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Hmm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. The assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, Nico, shut those up. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. Mitsuru, Mitsuru. What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone! Damn it! What the hell's going on? I'm totally lost here! It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We gotta hurry! Hey! Wait for me! Draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it. Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Huh? Hey, what the? Uh, Uka. No, what are you doing here? Hey, come back! Please get out of here! It's not safe! I. I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her!
Kamigishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Itsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. Okay. Let's get this. I have a feeling I'm gonna send them to, a uh, The grave. I'll begin searching for the monster's weaknesses. Okay. Please, give me some time. Okay, so is this gonna be different to the base game, then? Because... Hmm... So I can analyze and ooh, full analysis. So that would be Oh, she says she's already analyzing. Okay, well, in that event, let's just use Mabufu then. If one of them's weak to ice, we'll find out this way. Fun. Okay, um Junpei, you're up. I'm gonna bank that the one on the left is more likely to be weak to fire than regularly. No, okay. And same with Akihiko. We're just gonna get their affinities out of the way. Ooh, wonderful! Okay, well, can I? I'm gonna bank that the other one is weak to. We've tried ice, we've tried fire. I'm gonna say the other one's weak to Garu. Just a hunch. No, I'm not actually. That one's weak to physical, ain't they? Oh, okay. They went. They went big. Alright, tempest slash and. Oh, good. Okay. 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 Now! Now! Would be great! Okay, but well, press that while on the analyze screen to use Fuka's skillful analysis doing so depletes her SP. It will reveal the enemy's weakness uses spell more effectively. Okay. Let's um full anal analysis and it is shot damage. Okay, so can we do that as well? We can. Okay, so weak to Zeo and then weak to shot damage. That's really not helpful. Unless Shukari plans on getting up. Um, okay, do I have anything that does shot damage? Um, there's no way to really guarantee I've got it, because Junpei doesn't actually come with it, and I also don't come with it. Okay. Um, but we, at the very least, let's throw Okimare and this. Okay. Zap him, evidently. Then, who can I pass to? Like, can I check your stats? You've got a bash, and then you're... Mm, I don't know what to do, actually. It says... Yeah, it walks everything else. Ooh, that's, um... I'm just gonna keep zeroing them, because I don't have a way to deal damage to that shadow, unfortunately. Um, okay, and... Um, you can't really do much, can you, Junpei? Oh, okay, it says it resists, not, you know, fully withstands. And then same with you, just Mazio. Not Mazio, regular Zio. It's best we can do. And then Paradigm Shift. Ooh. Are you changing what you're weak to, you son of a... You want me to burn through all Fuka's skill with this, don't you? Okay, and now... Punching damage. And... Ice! Well, that's a lot more beneficial. Um, so let's put us back on my guy. Oh, I can hit... I can hit both in one go. Okay, Jack Frost was 100% the right shout to make for this fight. And, well, it would be rude of us not to get a Sonic punch off now, wouldn't it? Bonk! Okay, please deal an exponentially large amount of damage. I don't want him to shake it up again because now I start getting nervous. Either way, one on the left is starting to go down. Um, Junpei, again, we can't really do much with you. Never mind, actually. Just clocked her. And then we pass over to Makoto, naturally. And, I mean, boy, oh boy, it sure be a shame if you're weak to ice right now, wouldn't it? Oh. I'm loving how exploitable this has become. Much more in-depth than the original fight was, actually. Well, one of them was weak to half elements, one of them was weak to the other half. And Fuka just kind of let you know that. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, uh, Kihiko. Of course, we're gonna pull out the Sonic Punch. Gotta get that good, good damage, you know. And well, it should be a shame if one of us had ice, wouldn't it? So, um, is this basically how it's gonna repeat, or are they gonna keep 
Are they going to keep, like, you know, doing that to keep throwing us off? We'll find out. Either way. Here we go. Cool seeing just the three of us, I gotta say. Um, it's like, hell yeah. Uh, but um, the Emperor's definitely just about to go down. Attack up? Oh, you think you're gonna be able to attack? Amusing. Oh shit, okay. Well, that's not good. Um, fortunately, um, this doesn't affect me. It just affects Akihiko's ability to use his thing. I'll have to spend a turn healing. That's if these guys see another turn, if I'm being entirely honest. So, let's kill him. No more attack up for you. In fact, I dare to say you just wasted it. Please. Oh, damn it. He's holding on. Right. Well, Junpei, or is that what to call yet? Damn. Oh, wrong guy. Idiot. Actual idiot. Um, now nah, you're gonna heal, actually. The way this has been set up is screaming to me, you know, use the opportunity I've got to heal. And the fire break. Um, okay, you're planning to use fire then. And, okay. Um, not ideal, but I can kill you now. Your, 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 your options are dead. Although the fact they're planning to use a fire kind of scares me. I'll make it work, though. Either way, that's one down. Let's uh, make it two, and uh, you know what, I'll pull the back here, go. It feels though his physical damage is going to be a bit stronger. Just hope they don't pull off, pull off a wreck arm or something. I mean, they are still down, aren't they? No? Okay, they were just on the floor. And, hey, Akihiko leading the charge, you'll love to see it. Anyway, another one goes down. Well, another bit of health goes down. And how about you, uh, finish what we started, Junpei? Hell yes. So, achievement unlocked. Something, something, something. Steam isn't showing me. And level 17, level 17, level 18. You'll love to see it. And freeze boost. Oh, Jack Frost. My guy. Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Oh, God. You... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Oh God. It's all right. She's just exhausted. Luca, Luca, I. Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! <laughs> it wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. That mysterious boy appeared again. His warning doesn't seem to be just a dream. I can't make sense of any of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest as soon as I get back to the dorm. And that brings us into... 6-9. Good morning. Yamagishi Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll be for the hospital in the next few days. That's good to hear. Precisely. Yes, it is. We'll need to invite the Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering that power of hers, we could certainly use her help. Good, good, good thinking, good thinking. But I assume we're just being given freedom again. Yeah, class has ended for today. Uh, well, who do we want to hang out with? Who are we feeling the call of? Kazushi, are you ready to... I don't think you're ready to rank up, are you? Never... Damn it. I was hoping you wouldn't. Um, what about student council? I want to do someone that won't rank up, because if I'm being honest, I think 
No, I don't think you guys will, and someone in particular will skip this episode. You know what I mean? Like, you guys probably aren't looking for social link stuff in this warm-up episode, so... I don't really want to make that a focus. Um... You know what? Screw it, Kazushi. Um, I said, I, I mean, I said last time I was kind of looking to clear away a social link to free up a slot in my, uh, Persona stacks. So, yeah, sure. You're gonna rank up? So, up, uh, fine. Yeah. We'll do ya. Get you to rank eight. Miyamoto. What is it? And what's with the scary look? What do you think you're doing? Just practicing? Well, that's enough practice for you. Get your butt to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to it. The nurse's office? Miyamoto, did something happen? <sighs> Knew it. He's such a bad liar. You can totally tell he's going easy on one knee. I know you have something to do with this. Sorry, but you're coming too. I headed to the nurse's office with Yuko. I just had a call with your mom about your knee. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. That blabbermouth. I want you to stop before things get any worse. You got that? Please don't do this to me. I need to practice. I heard, Cos. Yuko! And you too? Take some time off, Cos. Practice can wait till you're all better. I can't! I don't have time! Huh? What's the rush? Why do you do these things to yourself? You've been hanging around with Miyamoto lately, right? You must know what's going on. I don't know anything. Stop. Stop. I don't want you to lie for me. I don't want you to get dragged into this. So I'll come clean. Miyamoto was trying to protect me. I feel like we were coming closer. We are no points that rank. For real. Ooh. Either way, rank 8. I'll take it. So, the truth is... And that's the gist of it. So I need to practice. I have to win, or else. I know how you feel, Miyamoto, but... It all depends on me if my nephew ever walks again. So that's what's going on. I don't mind if he competes in the regionals. It's just the individual competition, so we don't have to worry about him bringing us down. Hey, what happened to practice? We were worried about Miyamoto. Guys. I'll let you keep training for now. We'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen. And I want you to go home today. Your mother will be upset with me if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. Everyone. I... I think we're done here. The rest of you, back to training. I finished training with everyone and then went back to the dorm. With no points to our name, can I say for the record? Ugh. Either way, anyone liking to inform us about Fuka's current status? Went to the hospital to pay Yamagishi san a visit. I wonder if she's alright. So do I, Yukari, so do I. Either way, wanna let it all out? Nah, urgently seeking workers, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, it's like. I can get him paid to increase my social stats, I cannot think of a better way to spend my time. Um, I do think we're on this episode a little bit earlier than we have some other ones, but uh, my general plan is get to the point where Fuku agrees to join the team and then end it off there, if that's cool with everyone. Yeah. And the grind set mindset and the total 50,000 yen from part-time jobs. We are going very at this, aren't we? Either way, that raises our charm and courage I don't think is gonna rain, but you know, you never know. You never know. <sighs> Curses. Getting late, head back to the dorm. Yeah, you do that then. You do it. You do what you want to do, Makoto. Anyway, off of the funny day, and what's gonna happen today? Hey, so I'm 
was thinking, do you think Kirijo Senpai saved Yamagishi-san because it was the right thing to do? It was because she's a Persona user and we need her. She has good intentions. Yeah. You're right. Well, I guess it's really up to Yamagishi-san whether or not she joins us. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Okay. Well, the morning. Our next topic. Oh, you're not to the Kamakura area yet. I guess not. Oh, might we heard you into the Nara era. Well, then I was power through it real quick. First, the Taika performs. I'm cool with powering through that. They happen in the year 645. Just remember that and we can move on. What would they be about? Oh, nothing major. Really, later on in 710, there was a Heijo Kyo. Okay, the wraps of the Nara era. If you're feeling sleepy, but you're going to listen to him blitz through these. What? What? You actually want more? Okay, here's a question for you then. What's the name of the anthology consisting of 4,500 poems, give or take, leading up to the Nara era? You know what? I don't feel like picking anyone today. I'll just tell you it's the Man Yoshu. We're supposed to cover the Koki and Wakatsu too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Okoda if you want. Oh, but I don't care about any of this. I just want to get to the Sengoku era. And somehow, despite that creative teaching style, we gained academics. Still average. One day. One day we'll go to rank three. One day. Anyway, after school. Class is ended for today, and who is hanging around? Um, school council? School council, okay, I have a feeling this isn't gonna rank us up. So we're gonna get close, really? I actually didn't expect him to be ready to rank up, but, look, fine. <laughs> um, I will take the opportunity, but we only got one point last time that we did this, so I'm actually shocked he's ready to rank up. So I spent some time working. Hours flew by as I worked hard on my tasks. I don't see Odagiri. Is he absent today? Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. Ooh. Did you hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Well, he's still at it. <laughs> this is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. This guy looks like he's about to hiss Odagiri. Knock it off or dot dot dot. This feels like it's an important moment, so I'm gonna say... Absolutely nothing. God, what a shitty day. Don't think I'll just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? You went a little overboard. Now nah, looks like you're hard at work. You bet I am. If we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand, right? I feel like Odagiri's starting to trust me. It seems like we're becoming better friends. Better friends, partners in crime, whatever you want to call it, it makes us rank number four in the Emperor Arcana. Go us. I'm going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. I had boys with Odagiri and went back to the dorm. As if we'd do anything else after a hangout. Alright, is Fuka at the hospital yet? What's up, dude? Fuku Senpai and Snout are both visiting Yamagishi too, so that leaves us on standby at the dorm. I wonder if she'll come home soon. Fuka Chan! Hey, she hasn't agreed to join though, right? I hope she's not being pressured by them or anything. 
She really doesn't like those two, does she? Either way, part-time position open, you know me so well, Choa Girl Cafe. Should probably study some days, but you know, it's like, I'm just so committed to the, um, the grind, you know? I mean, they've just rewarded my hard work with the Steam achievement, so it's like, you see how it is, don't you? I sweated it out while working part-time as a waiter. I cleaned up efficiently, received compliments from other staff members, drank a business and tried to pick a fight, and now we get paid 3,500 yen. And our charm and courage increase, although I'm gonna speed through that because it's probably gonna take a, a minute, and we can save that time elsewhere, can't we? It's getting late, I should head back to the dorm. That you should, Makoto. That you should. Now. 6.11, I feel she's gonna get out today. I can feel it. What'd I say? It's a message from Sonata. Yamaguchi's been released from the hospital today. We all need to talk to her together. Come to the command room once you get back to the dorm. Okay, so we get social links, but they just gonna whisk us out the door. We do get social links. Well, Kaz, you know how it goes. Get into practice today. We can grow closer, but we're not gonna get any closer. Oof. Well, we'll spend time, sure. Guess this is the cutscene sooner, you know. I'm sure that's what most of you want to see, that main story content. But also, we'd have to do this sooner rather than later. So, yes, we will give it all we got. We're gonna grow stronger, and, um... Well, maybe. Maybe that's all we need. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, cutscene time. So, you're Fukuyama Gishiku, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news. From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Kirito-senpai. Only if you want to. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sonata-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay, really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. We figured out this pattern for when special shadows appear. Is this what the mysterious boy was trying to tell me? I should start paying attention to the moon's phases. 
And so, when we load in tomorrow, you'll see our UI is slightly updated to now say when our next um, full moon operation is. So we've got 26 days. Gotta make them count. Oh uh, well, as promised, that is gonna be it from me for now. So if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, and subscribe. It does all help out a bunch. Let us know that you're doing some more of this and all that good stuff. And yeah, until next time, we'll set it all aside. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Ramek, and peace out.